I was having a conversation with my wife um, earlier today because uh, Taylor Swift is coming down here to South Florida. Um, he's going to be doing two shows here on Friday and Saturday this week. Um, I'm not going to any of them, of course. Um, but come on, a lot of my friends are going to that show. One, one, or two, one or two of those shows or both of those shows. And my wife actually had the opportunity to go to, to a show, but she said no. She was not willing to pay $300 for a ticket. And I, was t- I was talking about and I was t- talking about this. I was saying, because her and I are really big music music heads. And we were talking about this, and I was talking. I was saying to her, like, you know, like I still don't get it. Like, I understand that she's huge. She's the biggest star in the world right now in music, without question. And um, I was saying, but I don't. I, maybe since I'm, I'm not the audience, obviously, so I don't. I, I, I guess I'm, that's where I'm, where I'm lost in that one. But it's amazing how people willing to pay that kind of money or more to see her. And she goes, yeah, because she's she 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 uh. She just has, people just love her. Just, 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 just she's relatable. And I was thinking about this um, recently too. And this came kind of came you know came to head today when I'm talking about her on the phone about this. Taylor Swift might be the fourth phenomenon we ever seen in music history. Here's what what I what I mean by that. So, from what I can remember, for, for certainly in the modern day, to me there have been. In my opinion, and most people actually probably share this opinion too. Also, when it comes to popular music as a whole, there have been probably three phenomenons we've ever seen in the history of music. You had the Beatles phenomenon, of course, when they came to America, especially and what they've done. You have Elvis Presley and what he, what his influence on, on music and rock and roll, and you have Michael Jackson and what he did to pop music, not just here in America but also worldwide. And to this day, you see how you know how big he is. Okay, those three acts not only are the three biggest phenomenons in history of music, in my opinion, they're also the biggest selling rec- selling artists in history of music. Those three, Beatles, Elvis, and Michael, are the three biggest biggest selling artists in history of music. That's data. That's a fact. Taylor Swift might be the fourth because this isn't just a new thing. Now, in the last five years or a couple of years that she's been big, she's been very big for the last 10, 12, probably close to 15 years. I mean, I was I was hearing about her back in 2009 when she was on MySpace, when, when she was, you know, and, and it's funny because I'm, I'm, I'm following this, this, I'm looking at this phenomenon to grow and grow and grow. And even though I don't understand, I do understand it, but I don't understand it because I don't find her, she's very talented. I'm just saying that she's very talented. I just don't know I for for a long time I couldn't understand I couldn't understand why she's as big as she is, but then it hit me finally. You know, first of all, there's a real case for it. Number one, number one, she's you can't hate the girl. She's she's a sweetheart of a person. She's not my cup of tea musically, or my go-to. But I think the reason why people like her so much, and and I think the reason why I like her also too, you know, I, I a couple songs here and there, obviously. But I think because she's as authentic as they come when it comes to artists and and whatnot and how they are perceived, you know, are they relatable? Like Beyonce is a phenomenal entertainer, but I, no one ever found Beyonce relatable. I made this com- I made this comparison a couple you know about a year ago on this podcast about how like Rihanna and Beyonce the difference between the two, and that. While both were really big names and big artists and certainly legendary, whatever, the difference between the two in perception wise is that if you found which of the two artists would you, would you think you would see at a, at a Walmart, at a Walmart or a Target randomly, Beyonce or, or Taylor Swift, or Beyonce or Rihanna, and everybody agreed was is Rihanna, and guess what? It, it both the same well for for Beyonce and Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is very relatable. Like as big as she is, I can. Imagine her being down the street at my, at my Walmart across the street from my house. And it wouldn't surprise me. Her story is relatable. She's relatable. And people like relatable and authentic. As big as she is. And she's a nice person also, too, on top of that. She gave her her her, her road crew $100,000, I think, I think last year at one point, just because she wanted to. She's a nice person. She seems very relatable, very sweet, very nice. Seems like a really, really legit person in general. 
And I think that's why um, people gravitate to her. Because her story and what she writes about is relatable. So I think that's that, that's a phenomenon. And I think Taylor Swift might be the fourth phenomenon. I'm not ready to co-sign this yet. But when I look at Elvis's career and Michael's career and the Beatles' career and look at the at the way how big they were and how how long they're big for and the name value and the impact on culture, Taylor has kind of the same tentacles in the same way those three had, you know, in music and culture, whatever, same thing. Taylor Swift now is 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 drawing people from the NFL and all this stuff. And the NFL has a need, feels the need to always show her on TV when she's not when she's there. The same impact Elvis had, the same impact Beals had, Michael had. So she might be she really might be the fourth phenomenon in history of music. And um, you know, hey, listen, she'll be on here in concert this 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 week, and um she'll be a good show. I mean, I'm not gonna go, obviously. But it doesn't surprise me. She's she's that damn big. She's really big. And I saw also too her on our world tour. I questioned how big she was outside the states. Now she's pretty big outside the states also too. She she broke Michael, Michael's record for most sellouts in one in one sitting at Wembley Stadium recently. But eight sellouts at Wembley. Michael had the record at seven for a long time. So yeah, this girl's big. This girl is huge. So yeah, yeah. Put, you know, look, I, she may not be my, my cup of tea musically speaking. Well, a couple songs here and there, but definitely in the case of Taylor Swift, put respect on her name. Definitely. So. Anyway, that was to do with today's podcast.